the third week of the Five Drive Heritage Tour driven by Suzuki started off in the mother city, my city of birth in Cape Town. It hugged the eastern coastline of the country, coming to Still Bay, one of the oldest parts of our civilization's humanity can be found right here before going through the central Karoo in Colesburg and finally ending off at the iconic first of its kind Suzuki Jimny Gathering in Clarence. <laughs> In Cape Town, officially kicking off the last week of the Heritage Tour, yes, we've ooh. traversed all nine provinces of the country and we're all behind the wheel of our new Fonks, which we're very Fonks. excited about, our brand new car. Yeah. Yeah. camera reversing oh. you can see through like if you're gonna go over the line my favorite thing is that I can charge my phone just by plonking it down over there because it has a wireless charger is that a thing oh it's it charging. turns blue yeah I was just about to say like this head-up display really makes me feel like I'm Tony Stark everything's on the screen here so the album art even shows up the song that you're playing of course oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah This is where we are, and also we have, on the third week of the tour, uh, come to the end of a big week of firsts for many of us. It was Yonaka's first time on television this morning. Shout out to the Expresso show for having us. We are here on set to do a show with Expresso. It's about to be so lit. Expresso's happening right there, so we have to. Asylum's on set. Just gotta get the shine away, you know. I'm gonna be on your feel good breakfast show. And we have the Five Drive team in studio. They are on the Heritage Tour. Are you sure you want to mic this guy? Yes, <laughs> I'm sure I want to mic him up. He's you know he's to gonna, you're just going to encourage him to talk. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's in for. <laughs> Nick's a professional. We welcome the intrepid explorers of the Five Drive team. Nick Hammond, Yonaka Taleri, Nadia Romana, Sajor. <laughs> They, of course, have been on the most crazy journey on the road for the past three weeks, unearthing our country's hidden gems. And for us and 5FM, the theme this year was milestones. So best of, biggest, greatest. And hiding in every single corner in every single province are innumerable examples of exceptional people that really do care. Give me all of your lies, cause you're my demon in disguise. I learned to love the kids you keep me in, but the walls keep Feeling the sand between your toes. I feel the sand between my toes. So much work before you even. I'm sweating my makeup off. When you paddle, you always paddle cut hands. And when you pop up, first of all, you can just feel. When you press up like this, how does it feel? Paddle, 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 <laughs> paddle. Hands in line. And pop up. I can't pop. We'll pretend like I pop. <laughs> yes, yeah, so welcome to Nine Miles Project. I grew up in this community and. Um, of course, we have our own challenges, you know, gangsterism, drugs and everything like that, the scourge that has happened, but surfing kept me away from those things. We're busy with lives and purpose and destinies here, so we're busy with trajectories of these kids' lives. But the safe space is the ocean. Uh, these kids come here and for once, when they paddle out and they learn to surf, and all their problems are on land, but out there, they're free of that. How they get access, you need to write a letter why you want to belong to this project, what you want to change in your life. Because through writing, reflection comes. Yes! Yes! Well, take it out! <laughs> Tell 
I'd mentioned with great excitement on Friday when we were in Prince Albert, our producer kept saying we have to get piercings while we're there. And I don't know what he was on about, but he kept, he was insistent on it. And apparently he actually, eventually we went and he did. He said it's a big part of the, the heritage he of got, the place. He got a piercing in Prince Albert. Apparently. I want to see it. The rest of us were very happy with our pancakes at the market and going to an olive farm, which we got to do too. Well, if you, if you look at this, here you can see um, this is a very sensitive time. The olives are, are making shoots. So these ones will, will hopefully open up within two or three weeks. In a good season, I think you can get anything from, from 10 to about 25 kilos of olives from this tree. to the Castle's Hope Farm just outside of Stolby to discover the magic of the cheesemonger. Yes, so we are busy making uh, cheese. All the ingredients are in here. It's your, it's your culture. My hands are, are clean, so I'm just going to feel just, just let you show this is how it looks like for now. And that is uh, creating the texture of your cheese. So everything is being done by hand. They cut the cheese by hand, put it in bags, then seal it, label it by hand, and yeah. Okay, this is what we call our, our um, in Afrikaans we call it soot buttons. So the, the cheese is uh, I, I, I extracting salt from the water until it is satisfied. Unagi, eels, we're checking them out and still by. These are the Anquila Mozambica or the long finned eel. But they can live in a pond like this for up to 30 to 40 years and grow taller than two meters. So I'm gonna see who we can get out for you today. Come, is it plonky? These eels only understand Afrikaans. Yeah. So this is an adult eel. Anyone want to feel? I wanna feel the slimy, slippery eel. They are not, it's not gonna bite you. Come, come. Are you still a girl? Girl, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Ooh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I touched it with one finger. I'm enough. I'm okay. I almost feel, I almost feel like crying. I was very creepy. <laughs> As the elephant park stands exactly for the elephants which have roamed this region for many decades. Why are elephants so special to you? You can't rule out their intelligence. Look at them living as a family, looking after one another. That's amazing. Should we go feed them? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to finish this. If you, if you want it, you can, yeah, take it, man. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm working. She, you are eating faster than I can give you food. <laughs> it's so interesting that this is like their nose. How they take the food? These are hungry beasts. It's like a creepy crawling. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it, South Africa, the seventh annual edition of the Five Drive Heritage Tour, once again driven by Suzuki. And what a fitting place to finish, right here on the south coast of South Africa, in a place where one of the oldest remnants of our humanity and culture and history and heritage can be found in Stolby. We'll see you again next year, and until then, goodbye. This is 5FM.